Hello Kansas City Chiefs fan. This bombshell news that has been released is going to shake up the Chiefs. They need to move quickly to resolve this issue. In this video, you'll find out everything that's happening. But first, if you're a die-hard Kansas City Chiefs fan and want to stay informed about everything that's happening with the team day-to-day, -day, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Now that you've subscribed and are part of this great community, let's get to the news. An arrest warrant has been issued for the Kansas City Chiefs player, involving him in a multi-vehicle crash in Dallas, Texas. According to reports from WFAA, Rassi Rice now faces eight charges related to the incident, ranging from collision causing bodily injury to aggravated assault. Rice's lawyer confirmed he was behind the wheel of the Lamborghini SUV involved in the crash, but here's what makes it even more intriguing, Rice was only leasing the Corvette and the Lamborghini. This revelation raises questions about how and why he was driving these cars and what may have led to the tragic accident. The incident occurred in Dallas, Texas, leaving everyone puzzled and questioning what really happened on that fateful night. With the arrest warrant issued and the charges piling up, Rassi Rice's situation becomes increasingly complicated. As details of the accident continue to emerge, questions arise about the circumstances that led to this tragic event and how a professional football player found himself at the center of such a serious situation. Additionally, the revelation that Rice was leasing not just one, but two luxury cars adds an extra layer of mystery and intrigue to the whole story. What could have led Rice to be behind the wheel of these vehicles that night? Is there more to this story than meets the eye? These are questions that the Kansas City Chiefs community and football fans across the country are eager to have answered. What will happen next with Rassi Rice? Dallas police typically give suspects the opportunity to turn themselves in before arresting them. Let's keep an eye out to see how this story unfolds. We'll be back soon with more news from the Kansas City Chiefs. Take care, and see you in the next video.